Okay, our next step in working up to the binomial theorem is to work with um, what is sometimes are called a combination. Um, it's a different format than you're used to seeing. This is the way the problems are written. Notice there's not a fraction bar because this is not a fraction. It's a, it tells you actually how many com times um, nine things can be taken four at a time. Okay, not repeating any of them. So this is the formula that you use. So here, this is our nine, four at a time. Um, you do nine factorial. Okay, so the number you're taking factorial over your bottom number, that factorial, and then times you subtract the two and do the factorial of that. Okay, so this is what it would look like. Okay, so we do our top number factorial, so we have 9, that was our top number factorial, over the bottom number that you have there, 4 factorial, and then times the 2 subtracted, so 9 minus 4 factorial. I'm going to simplify that a little. So that's 9 factorial times 4 factorial, and 9 minus 4 is 5 factorial. Now we could simplify this by hand. Remember, factorial means you start at that number and you go down, multiplying by each number until you reach 1. Okay, so 9 factorial is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. On the bottom, 4 factorial would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And 5 factorial would be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, when we're simplifying these, notice I have a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 multiplied on top and the same on the bottom. So those can cancel one with another. Um, I can also simplify more. Notice 3 times 2 here is 6, so I can cancel that with the 6 in the top. So I'm left with 9 times 8 times 7 over what's left in the bottom, uh, just 4 times 1, so divided by 4. So 9 times 8 times 7 is 504 divided by 4 gives me 126. So the answer to this, the combination of 9 taken 4 at a time is 126. Um, now there's also a button on your calculator many times if you have a scientific or statistical calculator. Um, it may look like this. Okay, has a C. It might be a second function button, but on my calculator, I can put the top number and then push that button, and then the bottom number, and then hit equals, and it will calculate for me, and I get 126 that way also. So you may check. It, it can save you a lot of time <laughs> if you just use that button. If not, hey, it's some good practice with Factorious. Okay, um, again, I know you may have that button on your calculator, but I'm going to do them out long just in case you do not, to show you how these work. So again, we have 6, combination of 6 to 5. Okay, so again, you take that top number, factorial is in the numerator. On the bottom, you take your bottom number, it's factorial, and then times the 2 subtracted, and the factorial of that. So on top, we have 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, because that's what factorial means. On the bottom, we have 5 factorial, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 6 minus 5 here is just 1. Uh, 1 factorial is 1. Okay, let's simplify. So notice I have 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 multiplied in the top, and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 multiplied in the bottom. On top, I'm left with 6, on bottom with 1, and 6 divided by 1. Just leaves me with 6. Okay, the key on this problem is to remember that 0 factorial is not 0. It is, in fact, 1. Okay, so when we set this one up, if we were to do the way we're supposed to, on top we do 145, okay, our factorial, over our bottom number is 0, so 0 factorial, and then times the 2 subtracted, so 145 minus 0 factorial. 
we'll notice that gives us a 145 factorial on top, a 0 factorial, and then a 145 factorial here also because 145 minus 0 is 145. Um, so 145 factorial in top and the bottom is going to cancel and leave me with 1 over 0 factorial. And we can't divide by 0, but this is not 0. It's 0 factorial, which is always equal to 1. So we get 1 over 1, or 1, as our answer. And, and coincidentally, any number in the top here, if there's a 0 down here in the bottom, you're going to get 1 as your answer. It could be 20,542, 0. <laughs> your answer would end up being 1. Let's try this one, 18 and 18. So we follow our formula here. We put the top number on top, so 18 factorial. On the bottom of our fraction, we use that bottom number, so again, 18 factorial, and then times the two subtracted, 18 minus 18 factorial. Well, 18 minus 18 is just 0, so we have 18 factorial over 18 factorial times 0 factorial. Again, 18 factorial and 18 factorial are the same. That would leave me with just a 1 on the top over 0 factorial. And once again, that's 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. So again, 0 factorial is always 1. And coincidentally, any time you could have 9,520 to 9,520, if it's a number with itself, you are going to get 1.